It's great that you enjoy such a variety of books. Chuck, will you tell me some things about your family? Okay, so my dad, he works at the deaf, the school for the deaf. And he works with some of the older deaf people, and I think his, his boss is deaf. And I think he's also the football coach for the deaf team as well. And my mom also works for the School for the Deaf as a teacher. And she really enjoys that. Likes working there. Oh yeah, my parents both go to went to Gallaudet. And my sister, she was in fifth grade last year. Next year she'll go to the middle school. I only have one half-brother. And he's in college right now. He goes to Kentucky University. And he has one more year and then he'll be finished with college. Yes, my dad's deaf. And my brother, he's hearing. Oh yes, they sign. What's your favorite class? Oh yeah, I really enjoy. My favorite class is probably art. I also enjoy science. They're both very fun. Those can be very interesting classes. What do you enjoy most in your art class? In art, I really like doing different crafts and using all the different colors. We also work with wood sometimes, which is really fun. What are some objects you've made with clay? Oh, I've made a lot of different things with clay. I made a sailboat once for my brother. It was really small and it was special because I was able to make it where it actually floated in water because I painted it and made sure that it was protected from the water. And so it was watertight. I'm sure your brother was excited to get such a neat gift from you. And you like science, too. What do you like to study in science? Oh, I really enjoy learning about the small stuff, like atoms. We have a really good science teacher. Tell me more about atoms. So like I said, they're really small, and there's so many of them all across the world. Everything's made up out of atoms. In addition to atoms, what do you like to study? Oh, I really enjoy all the different things we learn in science. Um, like I said, the small stuff, I really like using the microscope to look at small cells. For example, cells that live on the body that are really tiny, you can't see with the regular natural eye. And we do um, different experiments where you can see the cells multiply. It's really, really cool.
Is there any other scientific study you really like? Oh, I'm really interested in the different planets and the Earth, just the whole solar system. The stars are really interesting. You know how they have the different Greek gods or the people that are represented in the stars. I think that's really interesting. Space is interesting to study. What other areas of science interest you? Oh, I really like anatomy, like the different parts of the brain and how it works. You're interested in the brain, huh? How does the brain work? The brain's actually really complicated. What's really interesting is your eyes, when they take in an image, it's actually upside down and you have to flip it and your brain does that for you. How the brain works really is complex and fascinating. What about the circulatory system? How does it work? So you know your heart pumps the blood to your body and you have different types of blood. You have red cells and blue cells and they work differently when it comes to um, providing oxygen to the different parts of your body. What's another body system you want to talk about? Oh, the lungs are really interesting. The way they expand as you breathe. So they provide um, oxygen, they provide oxygen or O2 um, to the body. That's how you breathe it in. Is there another body system you enjoy studying? I like learning about the muscles and how they expand and grow as you work out and the different ways they work with the other parts of the body. The musculatory system is pretty interesting. The human body is interesting to study. What do you know about ecology? I know it's something with CFC in ecology. I know that there's like the greenhouse effect when it comes to pollution and different parts of the way the Earth's affected. So when we breathe in the oxygen, there's a lot of different things happening in the atmosphere that cause the amount of oxygen in the air to be a lot lower. So you know the ozone layer that's around the Earth, it kind of stops different things from leaving and coming back down to the earth. It forces maybe some of the worst parts of the air to come back down.
batteries pollute the air because um, we don't want to have a polluted earth. Have you been involved in any ecology events? Yeah, my class, we made a poster talking about freeing our earth. And on one half of the poster, we had a picture of what a good earth would look like and what a bad earth would look like. Our class all worked together. It was pretty cool. We had different groups that worked together and we had a competition. Yeah, so we actually have three different parts of the class and all three of us have certifications. That's cool. You were able to blend your love of science and art and win a prize. You know, studying the weather has always been interesting to me. What do you know about rain and floods? I know that there's a specific water level, and when it rains, the water rises. There's the water cycle, how the water falls and goes back up into the sky. So sometimes hurricanes can happen and different things when, like, heat and cool air. I also know that there's different systems that when they get full of water, they have to release the water. I know last Saturday, no, I think it was last Sunday, our house actually flooded. It was pretty scary. So when we finally finished our work, we had to like wade through the water. Our basement has protection for water. There's things that push the water out, but also warn us when it's happening. I'm glad your house wasn't damaged too much. What about tornadoes? Will you explain how a tornado begins and describe what it's like? So when cold air and warm air come together and mix, it causes um, the tunnel type cycle that a hurricane forms. And usually you're supposed to get in the basement in order to be protected from it. Because it can rip up houses in different parts of the different parts of buildings and things. It goes very well. What do you know about snow? Oh, snow? Well, I know when it's really cold and rain freezes, it can fall as snow. I know that we'll go over to my school and we'll take a sled and go down the hill. It's really fun when it snows. It's Yeah, it's a straight downhill. It makes it a lot more fun. I've definitely fallen a few times. But it's fine if you fall. The snow is pretty soft. Oh, tell me more about what you built. I like to build like the small tunnel type thing called an igloo 
It's really cool because you can go up inside of it, but sometimes it can fall, so you have to be careful. Yeah, I only make it for myself. It's it's really small. What fun! You obviously know how to have fun in the winter. How about summer? Do you and your family plan any fun travels? Oh yeah, during July my family always travels to Six Flags. You know, the amusement park where there's all the different roller coasters. Oh, it's always scary when you arrive because you can see the big roller coasters. They also have like a Olympics for kids, which is really fun. It's always cool. I love going every year. I can't wait to go again. Many Olympics for deaf kids. What are some of the events? So, for example, we'll do running or like throwing the shock put. It's a pretty cool Olympics. You learn a lot. Didn't you say you would visit an amusement park? Which one? Have you ever been there before? Yes, yeah, Six Flags. I've never gone into Six Flags before. This will be my first time seeing it. But I'm really excited to ride the roller coasters. Have you been to any other amusement parks? Oh, yeah. I've gone to a lot of other amusement parks. They're really fun. Worlds of fun, huh? What's your favorite ride there? Oh, there's this dragon ride that I really like. When you go up and then you go all over, you flip back and forth. It's so fun. You actually go upside down two different times. When you first start, there's pictures on either side and you're slowly moving up and then suddenly you get to the peak and you start flying down. It's so much fun. And then it gets faster and like I said, there's twists and twists turns and then you go upside down and you actually do that a second time like I said before I like to sit at the front actually some people like to sit at the front but I like to sit on the second row that ride sounds exciting and a little scary did you have to wait a long time to get on the ride Oh, yes, there's such a long line. We had to wait for 45 minutes to ride it. That was a long wait. But from your description of the ride, it must have been worth it. Chuck, are you in any clubs at school? Oh yeah, I'm in a club for politics. I'm actually the president of the club. We also have a vice president. I forget their name. And we also have a secretary and then a treasurer who deals with the money. What an honor. What kinds of responsibilities do you have as president?
Well, first I have to talk when we open and we talk about different businesses and the kids, they all sit and listen. We also have adults that present as well and they describe some of our responsibilities and give them a tour. Wow, I'm impressed with your knowledge and with all the activities you enjoy. I hope you have a great year at school.